Welcome everybody. Y'all ready for this? For this? The Hustle. My name is Steve Armopoulos and these are my co-hosts. I'm Talia. And I'm Tech Lucia. You may have heard me on radio. You may have never heard of me at all, but that's okay. Cause y'all gon' learn today. Your whole life was a struggle. Had to make it out the jungle. This is a show for you. Welcome to the Hustle. Under pressure, never break a foe. Keep chasing your goals until you blow. Now, welcome to the Hustle. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Hustle Podcast. And today we have a very special guest. I very say this special. all the time. No, no, no. I say this Every all the time. Episode. He actually but means it this time. I really mean it because I've been waiting to get this guy on the episode since the Hustle Podcast began. Mm. We got Yoni Baba Yaga Sherbatov in the building. Let's go. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful place, guys. Thank Amazing. You here. Amazing. Thank so you. We got the kids in the background. Yes, Relax, yes. My kids calm. are watching now uh, a little show, so hopefully they're not going to break nothing. I'm going to show my kids <laughs> this episode just as an example of how they should behave when we're in public. Thank you. <laughs> we'll so see, I, we'll I commend you. you. I commend you on that. Thank we'll you. see maybe Thank in you. 10 minutes to get up and start tearing down the camera. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. So, Yoni, when I started the podcast... I was doing my run right before the podcast. I was shooting videos for promoters, uh, entrepreneurs, people that were hustling and doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was watching The Ultimate Fighter. Mm -hmm. And I was going through a binge. I was like watching all the Ultimate Fighters in a row. And then it was tough 24, I think, yeah. if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, tough 24. And I saw some local guys on that show. And one of them was Yoni. And I'm like, dude, I got to get him on the show. Yeah. So, like, I've been trying persistently to hit you up. I know you're a busy guy. You got a schedule. You have things you're doing with the gym. You're Two gyms, uh, family, oh. training, business, uh, uh, st uh, back university. I just wanted to get some uh, the other degrees. So, I'm, I've been... I've been doing Hustling. Yes. And I think that's... I cannot stay one spot doing nothing. I, mm -hmm. I have to from... 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. I do something. There's okay. no break. I think it was, uh, <laughs> I saw it in a past interview mm -hmm. that you were talking about that you got into jujitsu and everything at like five years old. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very uh, early age. Um, we started by my mom seeing uh, a guy getting bullied and my mom said to my dad, we, we don't want to see our kids in that mm -hmm. position. And uh, the image, uh, it's a, kids kicking behind uh the back uh the back of the kid and the kid falling down so my my mom said it won't happen mm -hmm. with you guys so we we, we started taekwondo then um we we persist taekwondo until our black belt sank and down but parallelly we found a school of mma thai jiu-jitsu from mm -hmm. Nigel Scantlebury. Oh, shout one. out to Nigel. Yeah, Nigel is the one that uh, showed me th the beginning of MMA, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, around six years old, we we, we started uh, definitely. Uh, the, I did uh, Muay Thai, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, mm -hmm. Taekwondo, and my father uh, brought us in the old, old TriStar where uh, Vargovsky and all these. Uh, Great uh, trainers were there where uh, they taught us boxing. So we, I do MMA since I'm a child. Uh, That's crazy. So it it comes also from the background of my parents. Mm -hmm. my, my father was an ex boxer, wrestler, more amateurish style. Yeah. But my mom was a figure skater, very renowned in Russia. So mix of sports come back yeah, to us. We, yeah, for we, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have body. it in, yeah. inside of us. Yes, yeah. that's awesome. Okay, yeah, that was yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Was there ever an instance like when you were growing up that you had to use these skills? Somebody tried to bully you? You know, I, you're, I did you're not, use a lot you're not of You're not as times. big as the rest of the guys. Hey, be careful what you say. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, definitely, definitely I did. I, My God, uh, m my youth was intense. The fact that my language barrier was there, you know, uh, Russians speaking were immigrants. Um, then uh, the fact that I was, I was, I'm not very tall. You guys can see I'm five foot two. But, you know, people pushing, insulting, uh, you know. Yeah. And I went to a sports school where the, the testosterone is high. Mm. <laughs> so, so what sure. happens? Yeah, the, the exchange and... It's Lord of the Flies a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I used a lot of times. Yeah. Been in trouble many times, yes. Mm. So in front of the principal, yeah. I have to say, <laughs> you just asked him, like, you said something about, like, him being smaller. But we've seen firsthand you take down tech. 
Don't think I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, that you took down that was, that was Lambro. It was Lambro? Was it wasn't me. you? <laughs> First of all, well, I way. took Lambro down. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. no I, I it was took the Lambro other down, way around. But then he tapped me out. But I took him down, okay? All yeah, right. We, we had a jiu we, we, yeah. yeah. we have the footage. You got taken down. We have the footage. No, I took him down. Okay. I took Lambro down. You tapped out. Yeah, I tapped out because I don't know jujitsu, but he does. But I got heart, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. But I got I got heart. I took his ass down, bro. That's a fact. He almost smacked his head. And by the way, we've we've been supposed to have a rematch now. So we'll, we'll get back to the interview. But we we've been supposed to have a rematch, Lam, bro, for like I don't know what is it now Someone's going a on a year. A year all right, I dropped almost a hundred pounds for this rematch. I'm here. I'm ready to go. I don't know what, where he's at. I don't know what's going on with Yo, this. Where has he been? Uh, he's he's doing his thing. MIA. He's, he's MIA. He's but he's gonna catch these hands. <laughs> So Yoni, tell me. <laughs> I love it. You're doing. You're he has doing the it. eyes of a killer, guys. Be careful. Yeah. Man. This guy is dangerous. He knows. <laughs> also, don't think I forgot that we're supposed to do a push-up battle, like a challenge. We'll I, do that I accepted at the show. your we'll challenge. We'll do that November 26th. No, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna be dressed too nice at the show. We can't do that that day. But, <laughs> but you're gonna get these hands too. <laughs> okay. So you got you, you had the athletic gene. You got into uh, mixed martial arts mm-hmm. and all jujitsu, everything at a young age. Mm-hmm. When did you start the getting into it competitively? Mm. As like starting to fight people, you know what I mean? Uh, seven, eight in Taekwondo. We started very young competition. My parents immediately put us in tournaments. And from there is history. I just continued competing. I was Canadian champion, uh, Taekwondo, re- uh, wrestling, uh, 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 finalist, finalist in the Golden Gloves. Uh, oh, wow. I mean, world the medals in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I, I competed after that uh, high level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my parents never put us in a sport that is just for fun. Mm-hmm. That's the concept of it's. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do you're it. You're gonna do really. it, and you go until the end, and yeah. that's what we did. Okay, yeah. dope. So yeah, where did you get? Who gave you the nickname Baba Yaga? Who gave you the boogeyman? Uh, uh, people, man. Uh, people, literally people. Uh, I start. It started uh, a trend. People start saying my name Baba Yaga. Uh, um, you can look in it uh, many ways. Uh, somebody uh, spoke about John Wick, John Wick. Uh, so I, John I said, Wick, you right. know what, <laughs> makes sense. Maybe when it's time to turn uh, the fighting skills or the concept of uh, beating up someone. Yeah. So I don't, I don't like to use this word, but this is a fighting business. Yeah, that's the reality. Uh, it's there to to kill the person in front, yeah. Uh, yeah. and then that's that was my definitely. The moment uh, the ref goes, are you ready? Are you ready? And then when he looks at me and I say a word Russian, I cannot say it as a very bad word. And I say it verbally and you can see me, my face changing and that the game starts. I, and that's the, the rest of the history. Sorry. Look, if, if my mind suits me correctly after like watching a bunch of your fights, you had a lot of first round finishes. Yes. Okay, in a minute. Yes. Like I think one of them was twenty two seconds. Yes, yes. Like, I, I had a very good run. The first six fights until I broke my hand. Okay. So I fought since the ultimate uh, before the ultimate fighters show I broke my hand against Tyson Nam. Mm. And then until two thousand nineteen, until I did a surgery, I fought with a broken hand. Okay, right. so that you can see I still have uh, that definitely that, hindered your performance. You think? Right? Yeah, but yeah. I use the kick. You know, uh, okay. I, it's the moment you start to roll, mm. it's hard to stop. Yeah. You know, you can't. Pumping. You well, can't that was going to be my next question. Yeah. You can't uh, say to the manager, uh, management team, and again, going back at my age now, I would say I should have listened to myself no. with the Ultimate Fighter show. I went in injured and highly injured. Mm. I couldn't perform. You know, again, I was a knockout, knockout artist. With my, I'm a lefty. But it's that opportunity you couldn't pass exactly. Up. So, so it was like yeah. um, sweet and bitter uh, mm-hmm. decision I took. Um, I don't regret nothing. I mean, whatever outcome it came from that yeah. show. I, I, I do, I do wish definitely different. I wish that I could have listened to my my, my inner guts mm. saying, you know what. Wait a w- w- wait a year. Wait one more do, do, you know, do a surgery. It takes, and you know what? It took three months after my surgery in 2019 when I fixed it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah it was, it's not that long, right? Yeah, yeah. But um, you're young, you know. Yeah, you're young. Your brain is moving forward. <laughs> uh, fame. Yeah. Uh, dreams. Uh, they all put, gives you ideas of what you will become if you. And True. plus, I was seated number two. 
Yeah, you were the second seed on that. That's though. crazy, bro. When they named that at the, well, at the show. the pressure on that? You felt some pressure. I, it wasn't pressure. I was confused. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. There's some guys <laughs> more uh, professional fights than me. I had five fights. And some of them, they had 20 and over. Uh, yes, the decision of us choosing hard fights and professional to bring me up right away. Because I, so to step back a bit before the ultimate fighter. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the team that was taking care of me uh, uh, were pulling names out. I'm like, and I was saying yes. I'm like, okay, this guy, yeah, that's that's a good style. Let's let's, let's beat him up. Yeah, but he's he's good ranked. I'm like, doesn't I, matter. I have over 300 amateur fights. I knew I, my pressure of fighting versus or or something new. Like for me, new nobody was new. Mm. It was okay. The guy is uh, it's MMA. Uh, when I say MMA is. You're 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 good on everything, but you're not great on something. Yeah. So you're good on everything. So I, I, me, I was high level in all sports. So I said, ah, if he puts me down, first of all, he has to try to put me. I'm a good wrestler. Mm. Uh, jiu Jitsu. I'm a great Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, practitioner. So I'm boxing. My God, I boxed all my life. Mm -hmm. I even did pro boxing fights. So I, what I, so I was ready for everything. Okay. So moving forward, uh, when they said seed number two, I was just confused. I'm like, serious? Me number two? I'm like, come on. Man. <laughs> and also, you had that uh, you seated number two. You gotta wait for your fight, right? Everybody's getting picked ahead of you because nobody wants to fight number two right away. I think. No, no, that's right. No, they didn't work like that. I mean, I, I don't. I didn't watch the show, so okay. I, I. But at the place, it was you knew who you were. You, okay. you, you were fighting. Oh, really? So two versus fourteen, I believe. So then one versus the last one. And then that was how I believe it was really? matched. But I knew who I was fighting. We were tra we were in the same house. Mm -hmm. we, we, we knew we were looking at each other. We were like a uh, very respectful guy. And, uh, I still text. We still talk on cool. Instagram together. But I mean, there we knew and like, okay. Eric Shelton. Yeah, Eric. So yeah, it's yeah. all for the camera then all that like picking out, not picking out of a hat, but you know, the whole ceremony. And well, shit, I think like, the whole thing has to be like you want to build anticipation for the viewer. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah for sure. Good. For sure. Yeah. It's good. good for business. Yeah, you just have 100%. to hype yourself up in that moment. But even that really. fight, that was, that was a tough fight. Yeah. That was a tough fight, bro. You you were bringing it. It was like uh, you were feeling him out the first round. Yeah. Then you yeah. like started getting into it. Yeah. You got some good licks in. Yeah. Then he got the choke. He slipped yeah, in the choke. Yeah. But he, I, I didn't want to tap. But like, <laughs> you passed out. If dude. I go down, yeah. I'm going to go down like a man. <laughs> and, and Henry Cejudo praised that. Yeah. He's like, bro, he didn't tap. He's like, yeah. he lights out for Yoni. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, so I think that's your mentality when it comes to getting choked. Like, I mean, this it's a fighting world. So I'm like, uh, tap, tap. You do it in practice. Oh, <laughs> there is uh, your warrior. You're in the field. Imagine in the old days. Uh, gladiator yeah there's no time ah, <laughs> don't kill me no. put myself in this shoe i got like uh i got caught man and do i do i dream sometimes about this not anymore i had to go see specialists to go over this mm. but uh it was hard it was For definitely sure. definitely after that first loss in pro because Hero from zero in one second yeah. from people uh, yeah. uh, look at me. It's a very unforgiving business, I imagine, right? Like you're invincible people like, yeah. oh, Yanni, the lost. Yanni, Yanni is overrated. Yanni, this, Yanni, that. Oh my God. As yeah. if you still, as if you still couldn't kill them with your yeah. bare hands. You know what I mean? Only as good as your next fight. Yeah, that's like that, that's right? unfortunately you what know, they say. At that moment, this that was his moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't understand the world of like MMA and all this of the fighting, but like, don't you get a chance to like redeem redeem yourself? It's it's money business, so it depends how you put yourself out after. Mm. You can't sell yourself saying that that was not a loss, and that's what we kind of did. Yeah. You know, try to rebuild my name sell immediately. It, yeah. It's all about this, you know. It's uh, Vince McMahon has a great quote. He's not MMA, obviously, but it's it's asses who whoever's putting asses in seats. That's that's who they're gonna want to see. That's how, that's how Connor talked his way to you know arguably being one of the greatest of all time. Whether his skills match that or not is a different conversation. Oh, he's great, great yeah, he's an absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. great fighter. Listen, he killed me with two hands tied behind his back, but like you know, yeah, literally like <laughs> yeah. Back at the tough house, like was it was it an experience where you're there for six weeks? You can't call home. You can't talk to the kids. You can't talk to. Your wife, girlfriend, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, wife, yeah. So, like, you're missing all these things. You can't talk to anybody. Like, how did you feel about that? I, my, when I lost my fight, it's the first week. So, you have five weeks 
of knowing that you lost, but they they, they kind of uh, um, we might put, bring you back in as exactly. A, but I was mm. I was the exchange guy. Like if somebody get hurt, uh, I was the one jumping mm. back in, and I was excited, so I continued working out. It was very first uh, very hard the first three four days emotionally uh, for my first loss, and then after that I changed. I started working out and getting back into it. But more weeks moving forward, and and nobody's getting hurt, and. Man, um, maybe God will punish me for this, but I was like, oh, please. Somebody I, break a hand. Somebody get yeah, hurt. So real. I jumped in, not because I didn't like the guys. Every Everybody. <laughs> everybody. Oh, we got the little one. Oh, what's everybody. up, little man? <laughs> Who's this one? What's that's that's uh, Leo. Hey, Leo. What's up, Leo? Hi. See you guys. We got a tender moment captured right on, on the camera right, right now. <laughs> the best behaved kids in podcast history. For real. <laughs> I'm going to just let him sit down. Yeah, that's here. fine, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, put this down. Um, um, <laughs> Uh, what I was saying is that I I I, I liked every guy from the show was super nice to me. Okay, there was well maybe one accident I'll I'll tell you a little bit mm -hmm. after where uh, it's a, it, was a, it was a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. um, I can move with that story then right away. So so what happened the the, uh, the Macho Page? Mm -hmm. uh, it, what happened? He was um, he drank a bit too much. I mean. Uh, uh, when I will post that uh, <laughs> podcast, he's going to remember that. Yeah. I think that it was on the episode too. Like there was a little heated moment. Yeah. Right? And you, just, you were calm. You were that calm. was calm. But yeah. after that, um, definitely the the, 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 the... the aura changed in the house a bit, yeah, right? Definitely. But the, guy, the, per the people that organized the show came up to me. He's like, are you going to do something? And I was in my room. I'm like, uh, I don't know. So they wanted yeah, the ratings. Yeah, man. yeah, for sure. Because the rating, from what yeah. I remember, wasn't great. Uh, from what I remember. So, um, uh, give me. A, okay, can you get? Yeah, yeah bro, yeah. take yeah. the yeah. whole stack, bro. Go cash those in, though, man. <laughs> so sorry, guys. So uh, come on, man. Um, we kind of changed, but he apologized. Mm. So I was, I can. Somebody apologized me. I can't. I'm, uh, they can't say, okay, you know what, let's fight. Look, you know what I noticed with when it comes to Ultimate Fighter? Yeah. They want to get ratings, right? They stock that house full of booze. 100%. Everybody gets fucking wasted. Yeah. They're looking, for Chris, losses, they're looking yeah. for Chris yeah. Lieben moments. Language, right? the kids are here. But everybody gets wasted. Yeah. And obviously people get into scraps and yeah. uh, somebody wants to pick a fight. And I think maybe that's probably what happened that night. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but it end, end, end up well at the end. Mm. So... Um, so that was the show, but what was the conversation? I completely forgot. Damasio. So Damasio, after Damasio page, we, we kind of shaked hands and, and let and it be. Let it be. That's it. But yeah, so at the show, every week was passing. And so my injuries, uh, so uh, I still felt my injury, my, my, my mental, I was getting very frustrated. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. So I needed to call someone, talk to somebody. Could, you couldn't talk to nobody. So you. Well, that's actually me. real. It's not for camera. They no, really no, don't no. let you. No, no, no. You can't talk to no one. Wow. And so towards the end of the last week, so the last week, everybody, we know who won. Uh, everything is fine. Um, the producer, here we go. It's a producer. He comes to me. He's like, look, your wife been calling, uh, <laughs> but now, yeah, so she wants to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Now the show is almost done. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? So I, she goes... Yanni, like, do, do, don't don't freak out. Uh, um, I've been, uh, you know, in the hospital back and forth. She was pregnant seven months at that time. Oh, wow. she's, like, she's like, don't freak out. Uh, but, I mean, I, uh, I've been in the hospital. I'm like, okay, no problem. So everything's good if you need anything, you know. Uh, I mean, ask some people around in, in, in Montreal, you know. I was in Vegas. Yeah. So the same night I receive a call, uh, the producer come back to me and gives the sister, the sister wants to talk to you. So I go, hello. She goes, look, um, I have bad news. You just lost your, your son. Oh. And that, that was that moment where I, I started hating the, that business, the show, the business in general, not, not because of the, um, the people in there, but what happened? You know, mm -hmm. I wasn't there for my yeah, well, from the, the six weeks that I lost the first week. So I didn't perform the way I was supposed to perform. And I lost the child that she was seven months pregnant. Uh, That's rough. I mean, come back home. People are talking to me. So how was the show instead of, 
It's not their fault, you know. No, yeah. but still, they probably guys, didn't know. Nobody understands that no. until I, I mean, I don't want nobody to have. No, and I, I mean, I imagine you probably held that guilt for a long time. Oh man, I had to go uh, definitely uh, seek help. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I had this one after my little Leo, <laughs> my uh, Leo. my uh, little chap. He's 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 gonna be the next. Uh, uh, wrestler, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he knows how to fight. Yeah, he's yeah. already ready for Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Yeah, that's it. That's that's a little bit. So, just telling you that. Yes, we couldn't talk to no one, mm. and and it's and I understand why because you don't want to sell out the the show. Yeah, you know? leak leak uh, details. Yeah, yeah, and everything like that. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's hard when you have situations so. at home. Kidding. Yeah, Jeez, look, uh, you had that situation happening at home. You're away from your wife. You couldn't really uh, help her or anything. Do much, yeah. I noticed on the show, though, like, uh, I don't know if it was on purpose or that they weren't really focused on you per se. Maybe it's because you didn't have a lot of uh, interactions getting into... I don't, I don't inter... I didn't interact much. Yeah. That's number one. And so number two, I lost the mm -hmm. first fight. You're not going to put the camera on the... Uh, but you're still, you're still that, the, the option of getting brought back into yeah, the fight. Yeah. You know what I but mean? But I didn't, I didn't have a situation. Uh, there was no interrogation. Mm. No one. Uh, just with Damasio Page. But uh, I, I, I never look for, for trouble. If they come to me, I, I'll, I'll fix it. But yeah. or else I'll let it be... Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not. I never was a instigator okay. uh, for fighting. Some, I do. I, I. I have a big mouth sometimes <laughs> with my friends, brothers, or <laughs> you know. Yeah, you talk your what shit. I think, <laughs> you know. I think also with that season, like there was a lot of focus on like people getting into li little altercations. There was this other fighter also from Montreal. I think uh, his nickname is the Blade. I can't remember. <laughs> But he, I don't know. There was nobody. In yeah, there. something. Ab, Abdul or Abdullah the Blade. He has a gym downtown, and yeah. the whole the whole thing. Uh, there was oh, man, maybe. Uh, oops, sorry. It wasn't the same show. Tough Twenty Four. We're talking about something else. No, it's Tough Twenty Four. No, no. You or maybe it was Tough Twenty Five. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There's the the only. Uh, so how it worked? The six. There was sixteen guys. Yeah. Everybody had uh, the, ch the champion from uh, countries. So there was one guy from Canada. It was only you from that one? Yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, another season. Yes, definitely. another season. <laughs> I, like I said, I binge yeah, watched watch a lot of this, seasons. Okay. <laughs> a lot of seasons. Yeah, I think you're talking about uh, a weight of 170, 170. Yeah. I was 125. Okay, mm -hmm. probably that's yeah. what it was. Smack them around a little. <laughs> so like, that's what it is. Like I noticed with Tough, like it's like, okay, you see the scraps and everything, but the majority of the thing is you want to see drama happening in the house between fighters yeah rating no, it's, a reality love show. Reality it's a reality show, show I mean. at the end of the day do you think if you would have uh, been more uh like an maybe uh, maybe things, maybe my, my, stuff my, in the house? my style my style is not that but i did had talks after there's a moment in my career you uh if you watch interviews towards the um 2017 18 i, I was more talking shit i okay. was trying to like say hey you there uh, that I, I hated this okay, you're cutting so promos I, like you're cutting I thought, promos I on people this is so not me i i, I had to rehearse myself yeah <laughs> i was forgetting the name of the guy i was, who I was challenging so <laughs> I let was, me tell you something brother uh, <laughs> let me take let me I have to tell you, tell you something. Yeah, bro. exactly that. I I couldn't, and I I did have uh, um, indirect classes. Some friends that yeah, were yeah. coming up, like, "Hey, Yanni, this is what you need to say when somebody tells you," and I, that's how you come back with that phrase and this phrase. Yeah. Man, yeah. yeah, look, it's but that's, you're, that's, yeah, that's you're trying to focus on fighting, man. You're trying to do exactly. the best in the ring. Now you have to focus on being a showman, like. Uh, instigating talking trash to people but it's a whole different it's sell seats right that yeah. sell seats i, I, I saw does. people uh, go far with that yeah. Yeah. i mean look at colby covington he's a great example before he True. took on this like persona that he's doing now he was a great fighter but he wasn't really talked about and then all of a sudden he started talking and he literally like he talked his way to a world championship i mean he fought his way to a world championship yeah, but, but he was he was gonna you get know, dropped from the he, was, he was he was he was he was getting cut because he wasn't exciting enough and then he started talking chit chatting yeah with everybody and that's yeah. what happened uh, that's yeah. that's the way look on your season you you had kai kara france in the house yeah and brandon moreno yeah both monsters yeah. both great fighters yeah yeah, yeah. I, I trained uh I, I was in the same team of uh kyle mm -hmm. <laughs> and it went very good we trained an amazing amazing guy very hard everybody in that show hard workers mm -hmm. hard workers like 
these guys morning to tonight mm. uh, workouts they, they dream about about yeah. fighting yeah. and yeah now you see them in the big big league yeah Definitely. they're still there they're still hey, yeah. they're, they're still in the the fighting game you know what I mean Brandon Moreno won a belt yeah yeah yes. very good very respectful yeah. amazing and what a what a rivalry between those two guys him and yeah. Figueroa yeah. I hope yeah. I hope number four Even is coming Figu uh, not Figueroa but the other one uh, Brand Brandon uh, not Brandon um Brazilian, my God, he too is in the UFC, uh, uh, the Ultimate Fighter. Forgot his name. Let's see, that's my my thing. I forget names. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know who any of these people are. <laughs> You're all naming names on my own. So I want to switch gears for a second, yeah. and just as like an avid fan of MMA, so like since the beginning, like of it, pretty much. Um, I like what I I kind of want to know from somebody who's always watched from the outside looking in, like how much of it once you once the the cage door closes and the lights are on and it's it's time to go, right? How much of it is is your actual game plan going into it as opposed to like just imposing your will on your opponent like like what's more kind of so you you well that, so game plan versus what happened at the moment yeah That's, so okay yeah. first of all it's the tunnel vision mm -hmm. you don't hear nothing the moment doors closes there's nothing you can hear so whatever you practice hopefully you didn't practice for only one week that's why we have an eight-week camp right so you kind of uh, you know your opponent so you work around his uh, his weaknesses and you focus on your strength mm -hmm. but yes we do have like let's say he has an opening at that area yeah. we practice this and so it has to come out immediately yeah uh, or, or uh, without overthinking mm -hmm. so all my game plans went to water <laughs> for all my fights so thank god i have good instincts and thank yeah. god we worked hard for the for the camp training because game plan meaning Yanni you gonna feel him out da 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 and then, yeah okay right let's go we go fight <laughs> that's, that's but that's me that's, yeah. I can't talk for others mm. I would, yeah I would assume like people are different right? different but I I go I go uh, with my instincts and okay. um, that's it there to knock him out the first uh, couple of minutes. The objective, that's the objective. Yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. put out kill, a nice killer be killed, man. Like, I killer feel like you can't killed. really rehearse that because you don't no. know what they're going to do. Exactly. So you, you just know go what? in and do what you can. All my opponents never look the same what you see on the uh, on the videos. And then when you come see him in front, you're like, first of all, the guy looks huge. Okay, This is yeah. not <laughs> my weight category. That's many times it happened. Wait, the guy is more taller than last time. Man. <laughs> so... You never know. You, the guy was a righty, and then he switches lefty at mm -hmm. your fight. Oh well, yeah, good point. Well, uh, it's also the camera that does that. It like reverses no, it. No, no, but I mean, as in the stance, he does. Mm -hmm. Like we know, we it's written on a document. Okay, this is guys because people analyze them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But he decide that camp he's gonna fight lefty. Southpaw, right? Mm -hmm. Southpaw. So you gotta switch him yeah, right away. But they hide that. They don't. Yeah. Course, they don't. They don't talk it's about a little, it. Yeah, it's a little yeah, trick, yeah, uh, yeah, to yeah, you, yeah, yeah, exactly. You're you're focusing on the wrong things in camp. Yeah. So when it the time comes, he's got he got a little advantage on you. Exactly. Yeah. So like as the fight's going, like. You're making all these reads as to like what your opponent's doing and stuff like that, right? Like mm -hmm. I just, I, it's, to me, I would, I feel like I would just be overwhelmed with there's so much information because like you're trying to implement what you want to do, but yeah, at the yeah. same time, you literally have to watch like everything, like watch like where his foot is going, if experience, he's fainting, like it's, it's just like. that. That's why it's important to have a good amateur background. Yeah. And, and it, it comes from the build from the back because when you become pro, it's because you know, mm -hmm. but now. You guys all see Jake Paul, all everybody's yeah. a pro. Uh, yeah, first of all, he has the money to have great, great trainers yeah. behind him and take care of him. Let's, yeah. let's not yeah. forget. He has yeah, enough sure. money to... For sure. I mean, the millions don't hurt. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. So to, he does only that, working out. Yeah. But going back to what you said is the, the eye, when it sends the message to your brain, from the brain to your muscles, then you react. Right. It, it's not in a month, two months. It takes years. Mm. It takes years of... So when I see my opponent, he places in a way... I t I t I test him. I, I I kind of like move my body, yeah. pick up a leg, see what he does. See his leg. I bring my arm a little bit more further in front, to like to f move a bit my yeah. upper body, and then he reacts. And your brain needs to 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 be telling you go. And that's what I find so fascinating about mixed martial arts is because like the the average person watching would doesn't pick up on any of no, that. They, no, yeah. they just think the guy's just going like this. Yeah, you know what I mean? But it's hand, like yeah. yeah, it's it's yeah, it's crazy. It's fascinating, honestly. I would sure. be so bad at this sport. <laughs> I'd get knocked the fuck out. Well, 
kids are... maybe no, sorry really? well i mean probably because you have no experience many times this. <laughs> as far as like organizations that you fought for how many has it has it been and which one like was your favorite um so my career is eight wins two losses one draw uh i fought um I fought Idaho uh, XS, XFFC, that's where I got my belt, amazing organization, really good, like uh, from taking care of you, paying, uh, then I fought um, um, ACB, mm -hmm. it's a Russian league, uh, also went very well, that's why I fought versus Zach Makovsky here in uh, Quebec, um, um, it exploded my career perhaps, uh, also with this fight, uh, then I fought with uh, TKO. My last one when I got my my, my loss, that's that's where 2019 right? mm -hmm. then my surgeries right after. Um, what else? I I kind of fought. Uh, I don't remember. There's uh, another organization I fought Happy. in Alberta. So uh, you want to go to the toilet? Okay. Two seconds. <laughs> yes, okay, wait. Two seconds. Tata, so, go help. <laughs> Can you show him? Yes, he, he knows who help. Thank you. Hey, that's, a, that's an interesting uh, show, guys. We have. Yeah, well, that's great, man. It's, it's, it's real life, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's real life, man. We got family yeah. on the yes. show today. And um, the all good organi uh, you know, organizations. Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't want to bash too, you know, because yeah, for sure. some people are listening to me. And um, it, it's, it's not is not as beautiful that people think mm. okay let's put this clear and i'm sure other fighters are listening to me and they're like lifting the hat for me because one thing that i fight and i will always fight is the payday yeah it's the payday it's the payday they have to respect us more than what they take uh, they take granted uh you take know, it for granted you're granted, putting your body through we we are the show yeah you are and it's not it's not uh, normal that some fighters, some fighters, they still get paid two thousand oh, dollars a fight. That's disgusting, guys. Two thousand a fight, and I hope that show is gonna help to wake up more promoters. Yeah, because it's like you do the math. If they fight three times a year, that's six thousand dollars, bro. The work, just a physiotherapist. You gotta pay the gym. You gotta pay your trainer. And that's what people don't think of too. Yeah. Physiotherapist, and you have to see him once a week is eighty-five dollars yeah. to one hundred and five a session. Mm -hmm. Muscle therapist. You have to have that. You, yeah. You're a pro. You, it equals you have to uh, take care of yourself mm -hmm. as much. And I, like you said, you have to give 10% to your fighter. You have to give 10% to your manager. Yeah, to, sorry, to the fighter, uh, to the trainer. 10% yeah. uh, to uh, the manager. Then you have specialists, the ones who hold spats for you. Yeah. The conditioning trainer. Well, none, of mean, the, none of this shit is free, people. No, at all. <clears throat> you get sponsors, but no more. Nobody sponsors anymore. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a tap on the shoulder. Well, that Reebok deal destroyed that. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's sad. It. It's, it's sad. You know, it's, uh, I had my my time. People were, were, were uh, my my brother uh, was really uh, amazing with getting sponsors, and and we became friends with the sponsor. We still, I still go to the same rush uh, restaurant. Uh, you know, uh, it's they they still take take care of me as. Uh, more friend, friendships yeah like family yeah, looked almost. out for you. you at the end of the day you respect them and you go back to their establishment you know but thank god for them but yeah. then then that's not but that's not normal mm. you don't get paid two hundred uh, two thousand dollars my first fight was 500 bucks mm -hmm. second fight thousand i have six surgeries yeah six surgeries i mean yes it's all good but we they have to pay i mean there there has to be definitely a scale the first, the beginners that yeah. uh, jump in the pro has to be a certain, a fixed amount for them. Yeah. Uh, then the ones who are veterans, uh, you have to, to keep them, you have to pay them. And well, yeah, it's pay, like paying dues, right? Paying yeah. dues, you're a, you're I mean, a novice they, fighter. Mm -hmm. But also when you get to an organization that they're making money off the fights, they're yeah. selling pay-per-views, they're putting asses in seats. But and stuff any like that. promotion, any promotion that decides to open, you have to uh, be ready to pay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got offered. I got offered for to come back uh, last year. I got offered to to come back this year. Uh, you know, I, I for me to come back, I gave them a price. I yeah. said, "You come back, okay, no problem." I have three kids, three mouths to feed. Yeah, yeah. You've been yeah. on a hi hiatus for three years now. Yeah. So, so, so. so Do you me. have anything in the I, in the works? Are you considering it? I'm. I'm. Um, my conditioning is as high 
as a youngster of 19 years old. Okay. My skills are still there. My will, my, my mental, I'm hungry. I want to, but I won't go back until a proper paycheck. Uh, you know your worth. Uh, yes, yes. And now, listen, they, they won't, if, if organizations are not willing, and then again, what's, what's funny about it is it's the matchmaking. Mm-hmm. What are they doing, promotions? Are they want to do a business with you? Or they just want to make a show. Yeah, they feed you to the lions, right? I mean, that's another thing. So I, I, there's so many things that you see in that business where you're like, wow, it, it's, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. It's not easy. So yes, going back, yes, I would, I would definitely. I mean, I'm 34. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm free of pain. But I don't get paid the, 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 the money I want. I don't want. It's a smart decision. You have a family. Last thing you want to do is uh, be like a vegetable in a wheelchair at 50 or 60 because you have brain concussions and stuff like that. And not have money. No money, stuff like that. You're making the smart decision. Hopefully, uh, somebody comes knocking on the door soon and says, Yoni, we need to see you in the ring again. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. I I just had um, two months ago. Okay. Two months ago. Two months ago, somebody came up to me. So, so just to, to, to kind of touch on some current events, um, like what do you think about this this idea that Jake Paul's throwing out there with Anderson that's supposedly going to be on board now, which I don't know if that'll become a reality or not, about the fighters' union? Do you think that that's at all possible? Do you think that, that UFC would block that? George St. Pierre tried. Right. George St. Pierre tried. Then what happened? Nothing. It's yeah. not his fault. And uh, I, I don't know who's fault the specifics is it? right yeah I, I i won't get d- deep in this but at, uh, at my time the, we were the, uh, we we were hearing about this mm-hmm. but you can't be one warrior with a million dollars versus a billion dollars yeah they bi- billions yeah so, for, uh, you're right i mean uh, let's see let's, let's see. see and i hope and i hope they do something they have to do something yeah it's not normal guys i'm telling you guys that come out from there and they're broke yeah, yeah, didn't we hear something about ring girls making more than some yeah. of the fighters? Yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> yeah, bro. That's crazy. That's fucking. It's 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 honestly it's disgusting, and it's just it. Yeah, it's it's bad, but I I do think that it is cool that Jake Paul is actually using the platform to kind of spread awareness about this. Like, say what you want about the guy; he's a YouTuber, but like one. I mean, he can fight, bro. Like at this point, like okay, yes, he's never fought a boxer at this point. But I mean, he just beat Anderson Silva, and like, say what you want, forty-seven year old. He, he's forty-seven, but he's still Anderson Silva, though. Like, I I think it won't affect Anderson Silva with his with his won't. name ever. No. Ever, I think that uh, it what it created. Uh, it's a maybe a good wave, maybe a good wave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does does it give like now if we step back a bit, does it give false impression for the youngsters that do YouTube and you become a pro fighter, yeah. it's okay? Yeah. Or delusional young kids that don't give the the half of what we give right. give. Okay. Because you have to be careful. The, the, what he's doing is good and bad. Mm. Yeah, I never looked at it from that standpoint. <laughs> so because I'm I I I I'm in it. Yeah. I'm in this field yeah. where I see people come in. They believe they're world champions and and, right. and they, they have one amateur fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so you have, so, you have the gym, you yeah. have Sherbatov MMA on Saint Laurent. Yeah, and one in Laval. And one in Laval. When did you guys open up the, the gym? Was it has it been a long, long time or my f- the first gym we opened were seven I was seventeen. Okay. So me and Boris was eighteen and then we uh my God, it's been t- it's been ten years that we have one in Laval, and five years that we have one in Montreal. Mm-hmm. I hope so, Boris. Don't kill me for this one. I, I always forget the dates, but it's been a lot of years mm-hmm. that we have. Uh, so we, when when uh, I was seventeen, Boris was eighteen. I was uh, we decide who's gonna do competitions further and who's gonna do business. And nice. my brother focused on business, and I continued on competing. Mm-hmm. So it helped the, the business go bigger because of the name. Also, uh, we're in hockey world. My my youngest brother, Eliezer Sherbatov, he's uh, he just wrote a book about his bio uh, bio about his life. Mm-hmm. Plays in uh, in Europe, so we, we already had a name built with with sports, yeah. but also to to continue uh, hey, increasing our our name in Sherbatov. We 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 uh. were we were um, uh, what's it called? I was competing, so and he was doing the business, and we 
open that's up to good. Jews. It's a family business at that point. He's taking, he's taking care of the logistics and all the bookworking, and you're you're out there scrapping, man. Yeah, putting in that work in yes. the gym. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> that, 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 like, uh, the collector. The collector, exactly. Yeah, that's it. That's that was our. Uh, Steve's got his, his no, questions I prepared. I don't want to miss anything, dude. Come on, man. Look, so we've been talking about everything fight-wise, right? Yeah. Fight, fight, fight. Bro, we have three kids in the building right now. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about fatherhood. That yeah. must be the most stressful job. <laughs> uh, it's demanding. It's very demanding. So I wasn't very present for my career mm -hmm. when we were kids because I had to be a traveler. Selfish, man. You got to yeah. think of yourself. I was in New 100%. Mexico. I was in uh, California trainings. Uh, and career comes first. But now the fact that I'm with the kids, holy Don't cow. Think. I mean, to be a fighter and have, uh, have patience, kids, Patience. Like, that's, yeah, a, that's, a, that's a movie script yeah, right there. Yeah, he, he, he's the more, most energized than my, 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 my other. He's going to be, like I said, he's going to be the fighter because... Mm. I can, I can see. For some reason, I think he's gonna be really good at poker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's just spreading the chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yes, like, <laughs> spread those chips, my if man. If you only knew how much it's worth. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hustle yes. podcast. They ain't worth nothing over here. And 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 definitely, your 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 objectives are different. Mm -hmm. Life is different. I mean, yeah. You want to give everything for them at the end. You want to be able to uh, provide. Mm -hmm. So mm. that's where it comes uh, when I was talking about getting paid respectfully yeah, 100%. as a fighter. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. well, how about the kids, though? Do you, have, do you want the same path for them? Do you want them to join uh, so, mixed so martial arts? So they do MMA. They do boxing. Okay. They do uh, judo. They do uh, uh, wrestling with me. And they do gymnastics. Okay. Um, to become professional... I'm gonna challenge them when they get older because now they live in Quebec, guys. So you have everything here. Yeah, it's it's, it's life, mean, life's I, a little I was, easy. Yeah, yeah. Well, my time was sport. It was yeah. different. Now yeah. they asked me to go play. Uh, my, they want a toy. They want this. I can. Yeah, it's no problem. Let's yeah. go. You know. yeah. They got the iPad with yeah, Netflix. IPod, I never had the iPad. Yeah. I my. I mean, we we're so poor that we my my youngest brother didn't even have a bed. Wow. Mm. So I mean. That's a, that's not a story to tell you guys. But, but it is true because if you look at a lot of the greatest fighters, they come from from hard times. You can't. You, know? you can't. I mean, that's why when, when people ask me about my kids, yeah. I have to challenge them. I'm gonna bring them against guys that are come, they come from hard yeah. world. Let's you see. How, let's pro? see how bad you really want. Amateur is beautiful. Amateur. Yeah. Amateur is a sport. There's an Olympics. It's good. I'm gonna uh, pursue on that field. Mm. But pro. I mean, this guy's uh, fought have that Brazilians instinct, yeah. uh, yeah. from yeah. the favela. From they looked the favela at you, they want to rip your head. Yeah. I, yeah. I fought <laughs> real gangsters, you yeah. know, and if you're not a gangster yourself, how are you going to provide? Mm. Uh, 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 pro, uh, pro Survive, yeah. yeah. Survive, yeah. yeah. Definitely. 100%. Yeah, so no, no, no pro. <laughs> no. Look, oh, wow. we're still young. Beautiful stack. Wow. Yeah. We're still young. They have to get to the point that they actually know, like, what what this is all about because right now yeah. they just they're going to the gym with dad they're training they're yeah they fine. see they, they, it's, it's good for their yeah, brain you know they good. see they understand they accept they, they don't they, know the business side of it they don't know what yeah. it actually takes they'll know soon enough maybe yeah. some of them actually want to pursue it yeah maybe some of them are there, it's like it's not for me yeah but amateurish yes i i i'm sure i will i will definitely open the doors for them i'll bring them my coaches that are they train me i i will bring my kids when they get a bit older to them yeah so that's that's definitely that's my my thought behind that yes so from a selfish perspective because i got two boys as well seven and gonna be six soon the other one actually uh, ezekiel just turned seven yesterday so today actually so happy, happy birthday happy Zeke. Birthday. love you bud um i want to get them started in in training i'm just not sure what avenue to go with and correct me if i'm wrong because you would be the expert here um i was thinking to maybe start them in grappling i was thinking honestly judo just because i love the throws and and, and stuff like that because uh, my thinking of it is if a fight's going to start, especially in a schoolyard, I mean, we're not talking about a professional fight here. Um, if But a fight's going to start, it's going to start on the feet. So, so but I, I don't necessarily want them throwing haymakers. I was just thinking, just grab the kid, tie him up, flip him, put him on it, put him on his A-double-S. <laughs> and, you know, if you have to put him in a hold until the teacher comes, then good, you, you know. There's John Wick there, man. That's, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. that's a bit uh, holding. But you make an amazing point. I'm mm -hmm. going to tell you what. For wrestling and judo, 
there's two sports uh, from that that's I, that I gave for my kids in the beginning yeah. for a reason why it gives us a, a strength uh, natural strength right core strength so core, yeah core definitely core strength leg strength but in general the grip mm. um, the distance the reflex the feeling of where your body's supposed to be when somebody push, pushes you so for example it pushes you on the shoulder your body immediately grabs on the other side mm -hmm. but that's that you learn that you have to learn you build everything. those pathways young in a young age yeah. and that sports are are, are very good for kids okay. very very good very good that's what i've been doing with my kids you awesome. know? And, uh, in my uh, in my training uh, uh, at our gyms my the curriculum all the curriculum that we have in the gym i wrote in in a way that that's what the kids t learn yeah mm -hmm. you know you don't want to teach right away brazilian jiu-jitsu i mean sorry the brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners uh, because it's a more molo mm -hmm. on your back i'm not saying it's bad to teach but f what's the first thing First thing, a kid needs to be explosive, ag uh, agile, yeah. uh, coordination, yeah. uh, strength, all this. You're not going to give him a 10-pound dumbbell. True, yeah. You're going to want him to grab on the gi. Yeah. Fingers, the hands that have muscles in the hands. Yeah. So you learn all this yeah. in the early age and competitive, <laughs> competitive aspect. It's, so you have everything in one. <laughs> yeah. So wrestling, judo are my uh, go-to. Yeah. Yeah. And then bo bo boxing, you can learn this later on. When I say later, it's 9, 10, 11, yeah, exactly. 12. Uh, Muay Thai, same thing. Muay Thai is different st style. I mean, Muay Thai is squarish, more forward. It's a bit different, but it's it's important if you want to uh, concentrate in MMA. Yeah. 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 No, I don't. I don't think I ever want them to compete. I mean, listen, if they decided that they would. I would, I would support them, you know, but uh, no, I just, I just want them to be able to, to handle themselves and take care of themselves. You know what I mean? Cause uh, I agree with you. It's yeah. the world. The kids are kids. Kids aren't nice. You no, know what I mean? no, <laughs> kids no. are not nice no. to, to each other. I mean, in general, like yeah, at look, school, you know, growing up back in our day and everything, it's fist fights. You get yeah. into fights with people nowadays. Like it's, there's a lot of weapons being used and mm. it's good to have a skill set to defend yourself. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. So definitely. got to go to the gym, learn some skills, and if somebody picks a fight with you, you can disarm that person. You can do something to protect yourself. You know? I tell my kids all the time, don't start it. But if somebody starts with you, finish yeah, it. Finish That's it. it. You have my full, I'll go to the school and say, what happened? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did they start it? They didn't start it? Okay, well then do, do what you have to do. But my kids are not in trouble for defending themselves ever. So it's funny you say that. My, my mom was uh, not allowed anymore to go back to school uh, uh, because the reason we, we were fighting <laughs> and when the principal was calling my mom to sit down and, and, and they were to saying what we did, yeah. my mom was saying, yes, no, it's his fault. Yeah. He wanted to do this to my son. Mm -hmm. So, so they said, we don't want to talk to your mom anymore. We don't want your dad. So my dad was like listening. And then at the end, he was telling us, very good. Dude. You, yeah. you protect yourself. Exactly. You did what you had to do. Because the rule was, if I come back home and I had the beating, my father would beat me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So old school. That's no, old school. Yeah, that so is I'm old like, school. That's yeah. that old world mentality yeah, yeah, right so there. I said, bro. no way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 we're, we're getting to that time of the day that oh. we got to give that gem over to, Sh to Yoni right now. Yeah. Man, I feel like we're just getting started, bro. <laughs> Thank you. What, so what is this? I this, I don't have a ring for that. Uh, this, <laughs> you just got to give us a piece of knowledge that we can give to other fighters, other people training in M MMA, something that we can take with them, with uh, somebody with your expertise. So, oh man, my point is, Nothing will be easy without suffering. You have to suffer to move forward because nothing is given. And if you're lucky that you received an easy path, at the long run, if you didn't give your time, effort, you're not going to succeed. So that's it. Enjoy the ride. Trust the process. I like that. I like it. Perfect. Short, sweet. Enjoy the ride. Trust the process. Where can the people come train some MMA with Yoni? So uh, you just follow me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Sherbatov, Yoni Sherbatov or Sherbatov Gyms. We have one in uh, Myland and one in Laval. So you write my last name and you find me on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, pretty easy. Yeah. Awesome. I actually live close to uh, the one on Saint Laurent. So maybe one day, bro, because right now I'm training. I'm training. I'm getting back into physical shape okay then there, i have to learn how to strike and stuff like that i'm, 30, I'm 34 years old i've never thrown a proper punch <laughs> not me either uh, i've never know. even fought 
that's it's a good thing that so <laughs> i'm coming to see this guy soon thank hey, you very maybe much we'll go together we'll put it on film exactly. i'll come too yeah, okay yeah. <laughs> thank you everybody for watching another episode of the podcast we out the hustle my name is steve atlopolis and these are my